Above only, that is my place. I'm Mrs. Giwa Ayolua, Joss, Nigeria. I have come to give thanks to the God of Pastor Dr. Paul Eneche, and I have come to thank him. He started almost two months ago with a severe headache. The headache was so severe that sometimes I have to close my eye because I cannot see very well. Then later I noticed my breath. I can't breathe very well. I can't breathe very well. Especially when it comes to night, the time for me to sleep, I'll have it difficult to breathe. I'll be afraid. I don't know what is happening to me. Then later on, I lost appetite. I don't want to eat because I'm afraid of food. Anything I eat will not digest. Because once I take that food inside me, I will be begging. And the odor that is coming out is so severe, so smelly, that immediately when I beg, I have to turn my face because I don't want to perceive it because of the smelling, so stinking, so stinking, so stinking that I cannot stand what is coming out from my own stomach. My stomach was so bloated, big. I feel pain anytime. I can't touch my stomach like this. I'll be feeling pain. And I notice every morning when I wake up, my tongue and my teeth we gum together with my mouth. Everything we glue together. I always find difficulty in opening my mouth early in the morning. I'll be crying, be calling God of this commission to help me out. Because I am not going to die and I don't want to die. Then on the 17th of this month, I was so distressed, in pains, rolling on the ground, crying, calling upon the God of this commission to help me because I can't consider like this. Sometimes I will like, God, is it that I want to die? Then later I will start praying that I can't die. My children are still small and I can't die like a chicken. The spirit will be telling me, just die. I said, no, I refuse to die. I am undiable. I will not die. I will live to see my children. That very day on 17th, my children surround me. They were crying, praying for me. The other one carried anointing where was anointing me because as if something want to remove my, my, my mind, my chest, pains all over my body, my stomach, big. Then on that process, I don't know how come I slept off. In that sleeping, a man told me that this is a poison. That somebody gives you poison, you ate poison. As then I woke up. When I woke up, it is commanded the day hour. I joined and I pray. I said, God, if truly it was a poison that I ate, God please help me. Let your servants confirm it. Praise God, there is power on this altar. And Daddy declared, he said, I see something put inside something for somebody. Like a poison food, a poison drink. And to drink unto destruction, to eat unto destruction. The Lord will show it to you. Within the next few days, four or five days. And the arrow I declare backfires to sender. He backfires to sender. He backfires to sender. Uh -huh. It's like a grain, like a rice kind of thing. It backfires to sender. You will know it, it will be clear. In the name of Jesus. I thank God because God showed me love. He showed me mercy. And right from that day, after the declaration, the next day on Tuesday, I hate I was okay. The second day on Wednesday, I hate three times I was just eating. No discomfort. I no begging. My body is okay. I feel light. I am sweating because I can't sweat. Sweating is not coming. My sweating ceases. Now I am okay. I have come to give thanks to God of this commission. There is fire on this mountain. He's walking.